same time and then finding out that you're pregnant. Well, now imagine sleeping with two brothers at about the same time. You get pregnant and don't know who the father is. Then actually one would be the dad and the other one would be the uncle, in fact. But today you're going to meet a 16-year-old girl who not only had sex with two brothers during the same time period, she was actually with them both at the exact same time. Like, in the same room at the same time. The result of that was a baby and today a paternity test. You're also going to meet a man who thinks his girlfriend's one-year-old child is actually his brother's child, and he also suspects that the second baby his pregnant girlfriend is carrying is his father's. So, we'll get to all, we'll try and figure it all out. Let's start with Jay, who says that he has never been close to his brother, and he certainly isn't close to him now, not since he found that William, his brother, had an affair with Jay's wife, Marcy. Now, Jay is not sure if he or his brother fathered Marcy's uh, son. It's Jeremiah Jr., right? Yeah. That, you're, that uh, you think might be your brother's. Yep. And he's like a year and a half old. Yeah. So under what circumstances was, was she with your brother? What was going on with you guys were together for what? Like a year and a half or? Yeah, about probably like nine months. Okay. She used to date my brother like a long time ago, like four or five years ago. So your brother dated her first, but you yeah. married her. Yeah, I right? ended up marrying her. So you her. guys were married but separated. No, we weren't married when they were together. At no, all. I mean, but you guys eventually got married. Yeah. You had a baby, or two kids, actually. You have two, two kids. kids. And I got four all together. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And she was with you both how far apart? Do you know how, how many days apart she was with you both? No, I don't. Well, let's ask her. She is backstage. Uh, here's uh, Marcy, everybody. Hi, Marcy. Hello. Well, we had a little trouble following along. Let me see if I, if I got this right. No. You guys, you dated his brother first. Yes. Way back when you were what? Like a long, long time ago. We weren't even friends at the time. Yeah, you didn't even know. But, but so he was the first brother that you were with. You were like 13. Yes. Then in the meantime, best friends with that was William. Yes. Now in the meantime, you get with Jay. Well, a year after me and William broke up, I saw Jay at, um, we were at like a restaurant with my sister. And okay. Jay came in with his friend, and he asked me to come over the next day, and I did. And okay. We ended up together, like, a week after that. So you have two children together? We have four children. Together? Yeah. Me and Jay, yes. Okay. And two of them he's questioning today. Yes. He thinks that the older one, Jeremiah Jr., might be his brother's. We have a little bit of question because we were together so close, yeah. Do you know the dates that you were yeah, with each brother? I, um, what were they? I had sex with Jay on September 9th, and all throughout the month of September, and I didn't have sex with William until September 21st, so that's... September 9th and 21st? So that's like, what, 12 days? 12... Ugh, ugh, nothing. He kept going back and forth, so how you feel? Ugh. <laughs> okay. You felt the sound pretty scandalous to me. So, Jay, are you going to well, stay with not, Marcy uh, if that's not your child? Women. Well, no, if they ain't my kids, I'm not going to support them. I'm not going to stay there. I'm not stupid, He's still yo. The He was with other women, though. So, so he was with other women. You, you were with you know. other men, but one of them happened to be his brother. I was only with one guy. I wanted him back, and he kept coming back to me and leaving me, and I expected him to be back, be back Yeah, I me. did do that, you know. But the thing is, even oh, if you weren't cheating, you, you, you know why it's a little bit odd that you'd be well, with yeah, your brother. Odd, why not pick a guy, like, from outside the family? I wanted him back. I wanted him you back. You were trying to make him jealous. Yeah. Right? You were trying to make him jealous. Me? You're trying to make Jay jealous? Is that yes, what you're I doing? did, because I wanted him back and he wouldn't come back to me, okay. so I messed around with his brother. So he's I, mean, I do regret it. I now do regret he's questioning it. two children here. One, you, yeah. you were with the, both the guys like 12 days apart, yeah. and then the other younger son, too, you're questioning. Who yeah, could but be? Uh, there's, that, he's definitely his. He's just questioning him because he's whiter than my other kids. <laughs> so who, who, who do you think then could be the father? Do you have anybody in mind that might be the father if you're uh, not? I, I don't know. I, I heard stories that she left town with some guy and this never and that. Never did. Okay. So, you know, I heard from like four or five different people. I, I, I don't know. Do you, do you know how long, you know how long Marcy was on. with William? How long they we had this relationship? Two months. Two yeah, months? Yeah, probably. Okay, like okay so you had uh, several opportunities then to get pregnant by yeah. him. Well, Jay's brother William says he had unprotected sex with Marcy at least 12 times that he can remember. He says Jay knew it and didn't really care. Here's William. trying to, to, to follow your story here. Did we have it right so far? 
Yeah. So they have like a relationship. They have four kids. Yeah. They had a little split up. She goes away. He gets another girlfriend. She hooks up with you. Yeah. You were living with them. Well, with my mom. So I you were all living, living there. Mom. You were all living in the same mm -hmm. house. Did you? And your brother Except knew you were with her. Girlfriend. Yeah. And he didn't care. Not at the time. He was with somebody else. Who told him? Who told you, Jay? He told him. He, Jay said for him to go. I, I knew about it. You know, I wasn't swaying it. I was with Jay somebody told else. Him I didn't to? realize. Yeah, he, he actually told. It was like he wanted me to take one of his girls from him, and he didn't. It was he didn't want me they, to. They were like, they were like both fighting <laughs> constantly in my ears, like constant back. You well, know. You so I just told him. I was like, I yo, just take one of them. I don't care which one you take. Just take one of them. Yeah. I, don't wanna, I, I didn't want to hear it. Player? Oh, I'm not saying it. I'm not it seems it like, um, like um, the two brothers kind of pimped you. Like they don't really no, care don't, about you. Know. And, um, no, and they, they, they talk about picking you. They pick which one they want. No, so it looks like you got the short end of the stick. Yo, you want to hear about pimping, you just set your ass down, wait till next episode, and we'll oh, talk dude, about it. Come on, you know we want to get He was me. Oh, Jay, Jay, I didn't Nobody. I wasn't mad. even with the Wait girl. Minute. Before you get mad, do you know why he said that? Because your brother just said, take her off my hands. That means you don't care about her. At, at, that's what he was saying. That, that was like, that's what he was saying. That was like two years ago. But, you know, okay. it, they're all saying it, they act like it was yesterday. No, he it didn't say it like that. So he's saying two years ago that's what you were doing. You, you didn't care well, about two her. Two years ago, no, I did. You know, we had lots of problems. Doesn't that hurt? To know that he said, uh, take her off my hands. because didn't why I, say it that way. He was with some other girl, and he didn't want to be with me at the time. Right. So wouldn't that tell and you that he, he wouldn't... He didn't take me off his hands because he wanted to be with me anyway. At the time, he was flirting with me, and he said he wasn't with me. He was with me. Okay. So you didn't so, use condoms. You, were you trying to have no, a baby? No, I wasn't. So why didn't you use condoms? Because I guess I was stupid at the time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Basically, for real. William, do you think there's any chance this is no, your child? Well, I'm positive it's not mine. You're the older brother, right? Yeah. You're 24. Jay, you're 21. Marcy, you're 20. With four children. You have four children. When did you have your first child? When I was 15. When you were 15. Mm -hmm. What if both of these children are not yours, Jay? Well, if they're both not mine, you know, I got other people. I, I got other places I can live. So then you don't love her? I do love her. But I'm not going to stay in a relationship where I got to support two kids that ain't mine. You're sure it's not yours? Can we see this child, Jeremiah, with, uh, with uh, Jay's picture? Yeah. Can we show that? Okay, there's Jeremiah with Jay. Let's see him with, uh, with William. Yes. Yes? Huh? Great. I don't think you so. You think so? Great. So. It looks like Jay. So. William, you're sure it's not yours, huh? I'm positive. Okay. We'll have all the results coming up shortly. When I we come back from this break, a teen girl who slept with two brothers at the same time, I mean the exact same time, several times, then got pregnant. We'll find out who the father is when we come back. We were all three in the room on the same bed. You liked it? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we went in the room and took turns. You know, he would get a little bit, I'd get a little bit, he'd get a little bit, I'd get a little bit. Yeah, I have the results here in my hand. You know you didn't use protection, but you said you didn't think it was your child. This was the threesome situation. Shane suspects a lot of things about Jana. Because this is not your child. Oh! The truth you broke your mother's nose. The showdown on Jenny Jones. Tomorrow. Were you a total geek in high school, but now you're so sexy you work as an exotic dancer or adult entertainer? If you used to get bullied and harassed for being a geek, and now your body's so hot you're a stripper or adult entertainer, call 1-800-203-2799. Talking to Marcy, uh, her hu husband, Jay, with uh, whom she has four children. They're questioning two of those at this point for paternity. Uh, Jay's brother, William, is here, and now Marcy's mom is backstage, and she says that her name is Candy. She says she hopes the children aren't Jay's because she actually hates Jay. Unfortunately, yeah, though, she right. thinks that they are his. Here's Candy, everybody. Okay, so Candy, you're not a big fan of Jay's, huh? No. Does he, does How'd he... You, why'd you do that? Do what? Call her a hoe and stuff like that. When? That she can go to bed with your brother. You let her go to bed with your brother? I didn't let that girl do nothing. She was, she's old enough to do for Who herself, you with? yo. They're calling her. They're saying that it was all her fault. Yo, Candy, I don't what even you, want to get into this. What did you do? Where Jay were you when she was 14? And I, and I raised this girl. Where were you? Girl. You were living with her. Yeah, she was living with me in my house. I supported this girl, not oh, you. you. What do you do for her now, Jay? What do you do? What do I do money? for you, Marsh? 
I spent Everything your money. in my house is brand new. Who bought it? I did. It not you. Not you. It's all brand new. Candy? It's all brand new. Candy, it's all brand new. So you make her look Joe. like you make hi. her look hi. like she's a piece of Hi, hi. So him. you you Oh, I just heard him. And what did you say that he would be she would be kissing your feet if he wasn't in the picture? You're a liar. Um, yeah. You're a I'm liar. I'm a liar. All right, yeah. Can Candy, you, you think that. that they are Jay's children, but yeah, you hope they're that Jay's they're not. Kids. They're, they're Jay's kids. You hope that they're not. Why? Do you, do you not like the way he treats her? What's going on with them? Besides because the, the fact... way... He, look at how he made her look. Well, like he, she was just hauling around all over the place. Well, That's he, what he said. He did say... No, he did say, Marcy, take one of my women off my hands. He did say that. He didn't yeah. deny it. And you he were let one his of brother these women. So. That was like three years ago, yo. That's when they slept together, right? That's when they slept together. Hey. And you knew about it. Yeah. No, you knew. But November. you thought, Candy, you don't think that William could possibly be the father? No, he's not the father. How do you know that? Because it's his. How do you know? Because, because it's Yeah, it's his baby. They didn't use protection? He gives a about her. How, right. how late are you out every night? Three, four o'clock in the morning? William, are you, you're absolutely sure you're not the father. Well, so what? Right. You've got four kids at home. Candy, one second, one second. You're sure you're not the father? I'm sure. Could anybody else be the father? No. Not that I know of. I don't know. Nobody else in the picture, just the two brothers. So yeah. it's either going to be you or your brother. Yep. And you're saying, you think both of these children are going to be Jays? Yes. Yeah. Both of them, because we're testing two children. Yes. Okay, we'll have the results coming up a little bit later in the show. I want you to meet 18-year-old Rondell. He says he invited his brother into his bed with his girlfriend because he thought it would be fun. Well, he says what he thought was going to be fun is now ripping their family and their lives apart. You know... Why would you? Whose idea was it? Her idea? Your well, idea? Well, look, I look at it like this, okay? She wanted it. Alice is Alice, okay? And no matter if I would have okayed it or not, it would have happened, you know? So it was her idea. Yeah, I mean, if... And if, you did it, you agreed because you figured it was going to happen either yeah, way. Yeah, it would have happened behind my back even if I said no, you know? So what mean, did it, was it very, was it like the weirdest thing for you when you did this? No, I mean, it made me feel uncomfortable when I tried to stop it, but I mean, Alice is Alice. It wouldn't stop. So this and, was your way of keeping her from cheating with your brother? Which she wound up doing anyway, no, right? No, it, it would have happened anyway, regardless. And so it I did. Just, okay, and it whatever. Did, right? I mean, I wasn't even in the room. It was, I guess you could say it was sort of like, you know, you in, you out. What do you mean? I, I don't know. <laughs> he was in, hey, take it like this, okay? The you thing was, if she wanted it, she went in, and then uh, he went in, and then they came out and everything, and then I went in. You were like... <laughs> but see... How many times were, did it happen? I know of once. You know of once? Yeah. <laughs> like, you, do you mean that there might have been some other... I look at it like this, okay? I was there for that girl all through the pregnancy. I was in the delivery room. She put my name on the birth certificate. She told me the whole time that the baby's mine. Okay, I've been buying everything that baby needs, okay? Stephen okay. spent $20 on that baby. Okay, I spent. I, I bought everything for that baby. Okay? What if it's not yours? If it's not mine, then you know, regardless, it's still gonna be my nephew. Still but uh, I'm moving on. All right. Let's. I uh, mean, regardless, we ain't getting back together, plain and simple. But uh, you, you know, she's I'm gonna now with. with she's not with you anymore, kid. right? She's with your brother. Yeah. I think. Well, let's ask her. She's backstage. Here's Alice. <laughs> Were you listening? Yes. First of all, uh, I'm not the one who wanted it. He talked me into having a threesome. That's a lie. Okay. That's you a know, lie. you're still an adult. You decided to do this, right? I mean, the, you, whoever thought of it first, you did it. You guys were partying. Yeah. What, what were you doing? Like drinking and stuff? What were you doing? Just drinking and hanging out, and then it happened. So basically, he, he said it only happened like one time, and then, but it happened more than one time. It happened twice. Okay. Oh. And then you were all together? Mm-hmm. He said he was in, you guys were like in and out of the room? No, we were all three in the room on the same bed. Okay. No. So, no. whose ever idea, no. it had to be, wasn't it, how would it feel like for you to be with two, I mean, two guys, period, but two brothers? Did it feel weird? Yeah, at first it did. You liked it? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> If everybody agrees, you can, you know, you're a grown-up, you can do whatever you want, but 
if you're having, un but the, what, what it wound up was that this wound up you getting involved with the brother and you started cheating with him on the side. That was the result of all this, mm -hmm. right? So why would, why did you do that? You were still with, you were still with Rondell. What happened? Uh, I guess Stephen was better. I didn't want to be with Rondell. You didn't want to be, just. Y'all, y'all don't so, even know the situation. Well, no. <laughs> well, you made it sound like. You made it sound like he was better, like better in bed or just a better, it, it sounded like he was just better in bed. Is that what you meant? No, he was just better all around. I didn't, I don't know, I guess he was just a thing. And so you had the threesome and then you started cheating on the side with his brother. How'd you get caught? Uh, I'm not stupid. <laughs> he just found out, I don't know how he found out. <laughs> Plain and simple. So now you're, you're split up? Mm -hmm. You're now with Steven? I don't want to be with neither one of them. But, Thank you. So you now have a three-month-old child, Devin. Mm -hmm. Whose child do you think this is? I hope it's Stevens, because I don't want any ties with this. Okay. Hey. Why would you call him a name when he was good enough for you to be involved with and party with and, you know, what did he, he must have done something really bad. What did he do? What did he do that you would be so nasty to him now? Most of these boys are obsessed. I ain't They're obsessed that. with what? Me. They call me all the time. Okay. Uh, so that makes, me. that makes it okay to call him a name like that? What hey, did look, he ever do? She thinks I'm obsessed because I call her two, maybe three times a day and see how the baby is. That it's ain't obsessed. That's love for the times. child. You know what I'm saying? What about her? How do you feel about her? her? I mean, we're through. Plain and simple. You know, I'm already I'm already. When's the last her. time you guys were together? Two weeks ago. Okay, that's what I heard. So you're, I thought you were with Steven two weeks ago. Well, he was out of town working, so... <laughs> All right. Does Stephen know that you guys were together two weeks ago? Yeah, I told him. Huh? He knows? I told him. So you cheated on one brother with the other, then cheated on the other brother with the first brother? Yeah. Okay, and now you don't know who's, who's the father of your child. And you hope it's Stephen, but yeah. you're not, you don't want to be with, you don't want to be with either guy now. Okay. So Stephen is backstage. His story is just a little bit different, just so you know. We'll hear his side of the story. We'll also come back and meet a guy who says he's certain the father of his girlfriend's baby is his brother and, he's, and th that she's currently pregnant, he says, with his father's child. We'll be back in a second. So how did they approach you? What did they say? I Leah? just got out of jail at the time. Is she addicted to sex? Yes. Okay, I have the results here in my hand. You know you didn't use protection, but you said you didn't think it was your child. This was the threesome situation. Shane suspects a lot of things about Jana because this is not your child. <laughs> Moms. You broke your mother's nose. The Showdown on Jenny Jones. Tomorrow. Does your teen son or daughter boss you around, call you obscene names, and totally control your life? Does your teen treat you like a servant instead of a parent? If your teen daughter or son bosses you around, makes the rules of the house, and totally controls your every move, call 312-836-9453. If it looks like these people are having fun, let's remain calm. Don't you should see it live. To attend a free taping, call 312-836-9485. We're trying to determine which of two brothers fathered Alice's child, Devin, who's three months old. We've been talking to Rondell, the brother who was with her. Uh, and now Steven's backstage, and he says that Alice played him and his brother against each other time and time again. He said Alice needs to get help because she's addicted to sex. Here is Steven. Okay, Steven. So, uh, your version of what I read last night is not exactly the same. I guess the threesomes happened several times, according oh, to you, right? 30, 40. I mean, over the course of a few months. It was not 30 or 40 times. I mean, we went in the room and took turns. You know, he would get a little bit, I'd get a little bit, he'd get a little bit, I'd get a little bit. You know, back and forth, back door, front and back, side no, to side. You know, the whole world. Like <laughs> hey, man, but you know, it's some bomb. You know, so. How did you feel? How did they approach you? What did they say? Like, whose idea? I just got out of jail at the time, and you know what I'm saying? So my brother, my brother hooked me up with some ass, you know. So, uh, however many times it happened, enough times that she got pregnant, do you think this is your child? Uh, I don't know. Is she addicted to sex? Yes. She loves it. Okay. Girls ain't got it. Is it a problem for you, Alice, really? Is what? it a problem for you? That you just kind of want to keep doing it without any sort of, you know? Mm -mm, it ain't a Look, problem. Okay, I'll be honest with you. All right, we're okay. split up and everything. Uh -huh. That's cool. But, you know, me and her have something together. 
I still care about the girl in a way, okay? Do you think this I is just, your child? What, the second one? Or no, the, Devin, Devin, Devin. Devin. Yes, I do. I believe. You think it's yours? Yes. Well, Stephen, do you think it's your child? I believe that he is my child. Because, look, I look at it like this. If he's not my child, I'm sterile. I hope he's his. You, and what if it's yours, Steve? What if it's Steve's hey, child? Hey, I'll be responsible what to be a man, Steven? take care Balance of him, you know, do my part. What if it's Steven? It don't matter which one it is, but I'm going to take both of the, whoever's child it is to court. Look at this child. Here is Devin. Here's Devin. Who's that? Devin with Rondell? Yes, sir. Here's Devin and Steven. He's only three months old. He's two years. It's very hard to tell. But we'll know soon enough. We will know soon enough. Let me introduce uh, Shane, who says that he's been having unprotected sex with his girlfriend for two years and she's never gotten pregnant. Then all of a sudden, she gets pregnant. Twice. He thinks the first baby belongs to his brother, and the one she's pregnant with now is his father's. <laughs> you know, you gotta, have, you gotta have a lot of evidence to make those kind of accusations. You wanna well, talk about your brother first? Okay, so I left. I went and found my brother. I told her, hey, he's up the street. I'm out of here. I'm going to find me some you-know-what. So I left. When I came home about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, she's laying on the floor asleep. So you went off to find some other girl? Well, really, I just got away because I was... You like, were mad? I was just... You that's were mad. I told her. So you come back. She's on the floor. Yeah, my brother, you know, he's staying with me, so he's back there asleep. I walked in the house. He's back there. I was like, man, what's up? He's like, oh, nothing, man. Like, like he's just not waking up. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, they hit me right then. They must have, you know, banged. So I asked him. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's obvious. She, she laying on the floor. She said she... It, was she... She had her clothes on? Off? Man, she, had, she just had on panties. And uh, so, I was like, what'd y'all do? Y'all, you know... She was like... Started crying and shit. <laughs> I'm like, damn, what you crying for? I just asked you a question. Just answer the question. She couldn't answer it. All she did was cry, cry, cry. And so, you know, I went in and talked to my brother, and he was like, man, you tripping. You know, we ain't never done nothing. So and she was she was wearing so her I said, underwear. I tell you what, look, we've been messing around for two and a half years. You ain't been pregnant. You haven't got pregnant. If y'all... If you had sex. If y'all had sex, yeah. you'll be pregnant next month. She was pregnant. Did you ever confront your brother? Did you Hell ever? Yeah. You, tr you tried to trick him. Yeah, I called him. And he, so the next day, after this, he moved to Denver. And so me and her was arguing, and I called her, and I was like, hey, look. So I put a little scheme deal on my brother. I called him. I was like, hey, man, Jenna sitting there crying, and uh, she, uh, she said that y'all messed around. I was lying. He goes, hey, man, I got to go. I'll call you back. Hang up the phone. But he never told you he did. But he never, he still admits that they didn't. Why do you think this is your dad's baby that she's carrying? Because one day, see, my dad be coming by all the time, right? With, with the grandbaby. He's like, this is my grandbaby. I love him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He's family. Yeah, so that's cool. And I knew my dad was trying to hit on her, right? But I already knew it. You knew? Cause, yeah, my dad, you know what I'm saying? He's like that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I told Jenna, I was like, Jenna, uh, daddy's trying to get you with you. She was like, no, he's not. No, he's not. And I was like, yes, he is. And she's like, yeah, I was giving Desmond a bath the other day, and your dad was standing in the bathroom, and he was standing all over me, you know, and, and following me around. I was like, he's trying to get with you. Okay, so one day we left, I left one day. I left it, I left at 4 o'clock, and I told I'd be back at 5.30. Okay. My dad was there at the house. Me and my buddies left. When I came back at 5.30, she was gone, and my dad was gone. They went to go get my dad's wife from work for lunch break. Okay, she's, and look, before I left, she wanted to go, walk down the street to get my daughter, our daughter. Okay. She wanted to walk down and get her from school. She was just all happy and whoop, whoop. I come back at 5.30. I mean, I mean, she's not home. Her and oh. my dad my, uh, my, and his wife pulls up, and she comes out the store. Oh, comes out, oh, my stomach's hurting. And all this. I was like, damn, what's wrong with you? She go back in the back room, lay down on the bed. Oh, I said, oh, you done my daddy, didn't you? <laughs> Cause you know, we, uh, we got to take a break. We're going to come back and we'll ask Jana what's up with the brother and the dad right after this. Never been with Stephanie? No. A lie detector shocker. What if you fail all your questions? He's out. On Jenny Jones. Thursday. Does your husband or lover give you a hard time because he thinks you dress too sexy? Does he make you change outfits because he thinks your clothes are too skimpy? If you love to wear short, tight, sexy outfits and your man hates it, call 312-836-9453. 
We uh, do our share of paternity testing here at the show. If you have uh, someone who slept with a family member uh, and you want to find out who fathered a, a child, give us a call, 312-832-4180. We've been talking to uh, Shane, who, uh, whose girlfriend, Jana, you're still together, right? Yeah. You suspect that she was with your brother and your dad, and uh, she's apparently pregnant now with the child. You, that? Think, you think maybe your father's. Here's Jana, everybody. So, so Jana, hi Jana, laying in my Jana, hello, hi. you listening backstage? Yes. Either you've been very sneaky or he's very paranoid. What's the he deal? He is lying. He says, I guess the, the one of the points is that he, you guys have been having sex for like two years or two years or longer, and mm -hmm. you never got pregnant, and all of a sudden. That's because I've been having, I've been having problems with my stomach. It's my stomach problems is always bad. Jenny, we've been yeah, together. Yeah, Jenny, right. Jenny, look, we've been together for four years, right? Uh huh. I accused her of messing around twice. Both times she got pregnant. I mean, the ordeal is, is it's all messed up the way it sounds. It sounds like... Did you, know, you sleep really with his brother? I did, not did you sleep, sleep with his brother? No, did you I sleep didn't. with his father? No. When you were gone with the dad that day and came back and you had some problems, what was... Hmm? No, that's because I was pregnant with this one and now I'm... You already were pregnant. No, right. you weren't pregnant. Yes, I was. When I said you banged daddy, you weren't pregnant. Yes, then. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was you didn't tell me you was pregnant. I told you, but if I was sitting there laying there, my stomach cramps and all, and I'm, I, I know I'm pregnant. No, you said you. Uh, Shane, you was. You were absolutely sure this could not be his brother's child. He never were with way. Randall. It's, it's, is he going to yeah. say the same thing when he comes out here? Yep. Here is Randall. Let's get him out here, Randall. Oh, yeah. We already talked about it. I didn't say that. Hey, I didn't tell you nothing about no damn. So, Randall, you say that this is like, he's been making these accusations that it's affecting the family, like things like you've been doing this, and you say nothing's going on, right? Nothing. He's been telling the whole family that you've been sleeping with his... With his Got everybody son. hating on me. Okay. We have, this is, Desmond, the child is Desmond. Can we look at a picture of Desmond, let's say, with uh, Shane first? Oh. oh. That's Desmond? Okay. Uh, and then, uh, Desmond with Randall? Okay. Uh, boy. Jana, are you sure there's no other... There's no other possible fathers here? Hey, yeah. There is a possibility if it's not... What? Randall's. There's a possibility... See, a week before this happened with Randall's deal? Yeah. Her and her friends, I'm saying, they went on this little trip for like five days. San Antonio. So she might have banged somebody then and got pregnant in San Antonio, <laughs> came back, tried to play me, and by banging Randall, you know what I'm saying, and then, then get pregnant because she knows she, I mean, her couldn't. Does this get, child look like either, psycho? does it look like either brother, Jana? It's not Jana, Hi. does this child look like either brother to you? No. He's got a strange, like, lip. That's all he's got. He's got blonde okay. hair. Okay. We got, we got, we got lots of results right coming now. up. We will get Bye. to all these test results right after this. Cheating. You've never been with Stephanie? No. A lie detector shocker. What if you failed all your questions? He's out. On Jenny Jones. Thursday. Okay, I have the results here in my hand. I always get nervous when we do this. We're going to start uh, backwards. we start where we just finished off, which was uh, Shane and Randall with Jana. Uh, Shane suspects a lot of things about Jana. And... Uh, Let's start with uh, Randall. Randall, your brother, who you think, because of uh, incidents that night, could be the father of this child, possibility. She swears they were never together. Randall is not the father. So. Now you owe me one. So you knew that, Randall, because you say it. you guys have never been never, together. No. And Jana, you said nobody else could possibly be Maybe the father. Nobody. So you didn't sneak off out of town like he thought? You're absolutely sure about that. I went on my senior trip, but I didn't do nothing. Okay, because I have Shane's, I have Shane's uh, test results here. And if this is your child, then you're going to be cool. Yeah. It is your child. <laughs> well, surprise, huh? You thought you couldn't have children? Did, did, 
Hold up. Can you apologize to both of us on national TV? No. You want an apology? Me. You want an apology, Randall? Damn right. Come on, Shane. Sorry, though. No, I don't like it like that. It's more than that. You want, she thinks she deserves an apology, well, too? Yeah, I ain't gonna put me down. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but check it out, man. Mm. I mean, look, at, look at my situation. No, man. I don't think they want to see it. wasn't right, though. All right. If, you, if you're still suspicious, bring her back when she has this child, if you want to test her. But I have a feeling that she was not with your dad. I think you were just being a little paranoid. Exactly. Rightfully, I understand why, if you had this other situation. Right now, we've been, but, we've been okay. doing it, you know what I'm saying, for four years, and she never got pregnant. By the way, we, I, we, did, we did we did Jana, Jana, we gave Jana a lie detector test about minutes. being with the dad. She oh. says she was not with the dad. She passed. Okay? Oh. So there you go. What about my friend? Hey, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What about my friend? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, hey, what about my mm -hmm. friend? She passed everything. She passed everything. Right. Shane, okay? Hey, I got a question. So, I got what? a question. Yeah. Okay, since he said that he just knew that I'd mess with her because I stayed with him two weeks yeah. and I'm the only one that's, you know, he'd been banging her for two years and... Since I yeah. was there, he just noted that this mine. So, what? I mean, you know, so the, him insinuating that on about my dad too—that's just a bunch of bull. Too. Well, she she wasn't with us. She yeah. passed the test. She wasn't with your brother. She wasn't with your dad. You got to get over it, okay? <laughs> he apologized to his brother. Okay. Let's go to Rondell, Alice, and yeah. Stephen. Um, the child is Devin, three-month-old Devin. This was the threesome situation. Um, Rondell was the guy that you were with at the time. He was your boyfriend. He's not anymore. You said you hope he's not the father because you want nothing to do with him. You want nothing to do with either guy, right? Right. Well, I'm sorry, but he is the father. Now, now, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I want to. I want her to apologize for me because she told I'm me. I'm not going to apologize. Okay, look. She, she told, told me the you whole what? Time. That it wasn't yours. She told it's me the right. Whole it's his, it's, it's his child. She told me. Right, Stephen. She look, she told me the whole time, and then when the baby was two months old, she said, it's not your kid, it's your brother. Mm -hmm. She needs to apologize But she me. didn't know. She didn't know. Apologize. All right, so now it's, 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 uh, it's Rondell's child. Stephen, Thank it's you. not yours. Y'all should get back together now. No. no. Nah. No. You, don't, you don't want to be with her? Nah. You want to be a part of this child's life? Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk to her. You know what I'm going to talk to? I'm going to talk to a lawyer when I get home. <laughs> All right, well, you will have to be responsible, at least financially. Alice, having children is a, is a growing experience. You need to grow up and be a mom now and look out for this child and give him a father, you know? Right here. And put your, put your grievances did, aside. Did, did. And Stephen, you know what? I'm kind of relieved that it's not you because I don't think you'd be a good role model the way you talked about women, the way you talked about her. Probably wouldn't be the best role model for, for a child. Yeah, and, he, and he knows it. Jenny, he knows it. That's okay, like I told her. I'm going to move on to uh, Jay, Marcy, and William, our first story. Uh, now there were, it's, it's a year and a half old Jeremiah that was in question. Yes. And uh, you think, William, that, uh, you know you didn't use protection, but you said you didn't think it was your child. Yep. Uh, Mom thinks it's definitely Jay's child. And if it's not, then what? We'll see. All right. You said if it's not your children, and you're going to be cool, right? Because I heard some things about you, Jay. I heard that you, uh, you have raised your, your hand to your woman. I'm a pretty violent man sometimes. Okay. You know? Uh, I ain't afraid of right. maybe, maybe that's something. So ain't 95% of y'all setting no, up in this no, audience. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? You know. All right. I just want to make sure, hmm? I just want to make sure that you're going to, you know, because this may not be what you want to hear because this is not your child. Get over here. So, Marcy, what? any reason why you would be with a guy who was violent with you? Yeah, because I love him. Okay. All right. Nah. Gina. It's okay. Don't cry, Marcy. Do you know, huh? do you know what? Cry. Marcy, he doesn't love you if he hits you. He does not love you if he hits you. And this is not the way to raise a child. I have three other kids in my hand, though. That's fine. You have the kids. I'm just telling you. You say you love him. I'm Calm telling down. you he does not love you. It's okay, yes. honey. It's okay. You say he loved you. He does not respect you. He does not respect his mother. And he will not respect your kid. Yeah. He does respect his kid. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Well, Candy, this is, uh, how he do you feel? His kid. This is not what you wanted, want right? This is, this is no. not what you wanted? No. Well, we have William 
Is there any chance it's, it could be anybody besides William? Marcy? No, no. not my oldest son. There's not your oldest son? Else. And I know Josiah is Jay's. All right. William? What do you think? <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> so, what now? You didn't want this. Candy, what do you want oh, to happen now? that baby so much. What, Marcy? Jay loves that baby so much. Is this the kind of father you want for these children? A man he's who a admits he's violent? He's he a good can't father. be a good, he father. A good father. If he, he hits father. you, he's no, he's not. He's not. Yes, he, he is, is not a good father if he hits you. He takes care of his kids. He has nothing to do with it. He does take not care of work hard. He takes care of his kids. The kids are going to see the violence. They're going to learn it from him. That does not make well, a good father. I'm sorry. Completely disagree. Let me ask Rick Staub is here with Identigene. Thank you very much for doing you doing our testing all the time. Identity is a great company. Uh, let me ask you a question because we had brothers in this case, um, and we have had twins uh, sometimes too uh, being tested. When they are brothers, is there any chance that there could be like a question about this paternity at all since they're they're blood relative? Absolutely. When we have cases where brothers or father and son are alleged fathers, we always insist that both men be tested because. Those two individuals share the same uh, genetic pattern uh, so that it makes it uh, very difficult sometimes to discern who is the father. If you have both of them tested, though, we can always exclude one. Right. But as long as both are there on being tested, there is no question. That's correct. Okay. We'll come back in a second with Dr. Beth Erickson. <laughs> After the show, there is all kinds of great stuff happening on our website. Log on to join the fun at www.jennyjones.com. If you have an amazing or unique story to tell and you'd like to be a guest on The Jenny Jones Show, call us at 312-836-9456. Dr. Beth Erickson is a family psychologist and the author of the recently published book, Longing for Dad. And boy, we do these shows and it's just such a reminder that, that there are so many missing dads and I, we asked you to sit with our first story because she's very upset. I just was telling our producers, I, I, it's so hard as a woman to understand another woman saying that she's with this guy, even though he's violent because she loves him. They say he's a good father, and maybe you see him being good with the children. Maybe he's a good guy, but if he is a good guy and a good father in your eyes, he's got a lot of problems. And here there are four but children. We both have problems. Hmm? He takes after my father. Right. But then this is the time to address them. So is there, is there is there any possible counseling. answer here? A guy that's that has a problem with anger now that's his brother's child. They're together. They have the relationship, and there are this is the fourth child. Yes. What do they do? Well, the first thing you need to do, Marcy, is tonight or when you leave the show today, um, make sure that you're going to be able to be safe. I am safe. Okay. If you're confident of that, that's really, really, really important. The second thing I'd like to suggest is that. Um, I think it'd be really helpful if all of us stopped telling Marcy what she feels or what she should feel and help her figure out what she does feel. Um, and she says she loves him. Yeah. And obviously if, well, perhaps she will or perhaps she won't, Mom, but I think it would be really helpful if you of all people stopped telling her what she feels and stopped telling her what she should do. She's a grown woman who's trying very hard to make choices for herself and take over, take charge of her own life. What do she, you, what do you want, Marcy? What do you want? You I want to have a baby fam to be by Jay. That's what I wanted. Right. Well, but he's not. Or yeah, she, no, it's too late. I know that. Okay. But wait a minute. No, we don't know that it's too late for your marriage, though, Marcy. I don't know that it's too late for your marriage anyway. Mm -hmm. And in that this is what I do for a living, I can't sit here at all and say it's too late. I agree with you that you all need counseling. You need help desperately, together and separately. If um, Is he if, willing, though? That's the question. Is Jay willing? Not, I think no, that's not his kid. No, he's not. He may or may not be. I don't know. He has three kids by me. It doesn't matter. He really, really cares. Do you know what? We, we have all kinds of, of, of programs here with the show. We have a great staff psychologist. We can help get him into an anger management class. There are resources around the country. Uh, there are men's groups that would help him learn how to be a better father uh, without resorting. He is a good father, though. Okay. All right. Without resorting to violence with anyone. Um, 
There are lots of options here. It's frustrating, though, to see oh, him be defended like that. Of when course it is. How can you say, and I know I said it before, but if a man beats his woman and a child is in the room, that is not good. The child is going to learn that. We've seen it happen over generations. Do you sure, want to sure, have a sure, son sure. who beats women? Sure. Okay. Marcy, I'm telling she doesn't want to hear it. Do you want your son, Marcy, to be a woman beater? Is that what you want from your no, child? No, I don't. That's going to happen if he doesn't change. Well, but except I think he they... He said there a lot in his life. He needs help. You okay, both but do. He needs... You yes, both, you both do. do. You both do. Right. And you both need to work together to solve this problem. And you both can if you get help. Is he going to come back, Jay? We'll see if, if he'll come back. We'll take a break and see back. if we can get Jay back. He won't come back. Hi there. My name is Wendy. On the back, it says the absence of fathers is one of the greatest social problems of our time. No if you would just briefly tell our viewers why it's so important to, 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 to have a father. Fathers are not at all super, uh, superfluous or disposable the way so many people in our culture think. And in fact, that's probably one of the implications of the responses of this audience to Jay's leaving. I think a lot of you probably are saying good riddance to bad rubbish. Mm -hmm. And even though he isn't the, the biological father of the child in question, if he's function, functioned as a psychological father, he is important in the lives of these children. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. Does that mean that one should condone abuse? Of course not. But people need, people can be helped to learn how not to do that. Well, we're offering that help to Jay. He didn't want to come back, but we, we, will, we hope that he will accept the help. We'll offer any counseling we can to you both as a couple. And uh, I do want to thank uh, Dr. Beth Erickson, also uh, 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 Rick uh, Staub from Identity. We have to go. Rick Staub from Identity and the company that performed all of our DNA tests. They can be reached at 1-800-DNA-TYPE. And also, if you go to our website, tell us what you think about this topic. We have several polls there that we'd like to know what you think. Thank you all for watching.